Call it floral farming. You don't ordinarily think of a field of cut flowers as a cash crop, but this is a growing part of Tennessee's ag economy. Operations are popping up around the state, and other landowners are considering the flower business. We do uh, flower parties where people come and do cut your own flowers and jar them. We do that as well, uh, but we're wanting to expand that this year, so hopefully it'll grow bigger. Annie Thurman was one of the people attending this cut flower workshop in Maryville, with the program also offered in Lebanon and Jackson. Geared toward current and potential cut flower farmers, the program put together by UT's Institute of Agriculture included discussions on the production and marketing of cut flowers. And we have had over 100 people register for each location. So you can see that that's a huge need as far as education. And these are people that are new to extension. So that's really exciting for us. 80% of the flowers you see in stores are imports. But American florists still grow and sell nearly $5 billion worth of cut flowers every year and look for that to increase. Cut flowers are easy to grow and can produce a solid income. Farmers markets are a good place to sell, and an acre can produce upwards of $25,000 in sales, depending on the variety. But like just about any form of agriculture, success will take effort. Carolyn Hunter was a panelist for the Marable session and runs Southern Bella Blooms in Alcoa. It's a lot of work, it's, it's hot, it's labor intensive, and sometimes we just look at the beautiful flowers and think, oh, this looks like so much fun, but it, it, is, it is a lot of work, but it's also very rewarding. UTIA experts say cut flower farms are also a great place where customers can support local agriculture. Buying something that has that story, the history of the farm itself, or how being more connected to the land, more connected to agriculture, people really like that. That's helping drive the demand for local cut flowers. There's also that feel-good culture. So with Valentine's Day and then spring coming soon, flowers are a way to mark the season, adding beauty to your home or office. Meantime, your purchase is an endorsement for colorful agriculture. This is Charles Denny reporting.